Alrighty guys, so we saw Cletus's video and he had the new Sam spray wax. We figured we'd give a shot in this burnt blazer. We don't have Sam, but uh, I think it still might work. Let's try it out. Alrighty guys, we are headed up to Tennessee to pick up the replacement for the Blazer. So uh, I got about a three hour drive there, three hour ride home, and I'm leaving at about five. So we'll be back super late. So hopefully tomorrow we'll give you a little tour of the new replacement. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. And uh, we didn't go over the top or anything like that, but I think it'll be a cool little uh, addition to the Blazer. So we'll uh, see you in a little bit. All right, well, I'm glad it's dark out because you can't really see it, but we'll show you just the front. And I'll have to show you how cool it is tomorrow in the daylight because you just can't tell or appreciate how cool this thing is uh, until you see it in the light time. So let's head back to old South Carolina and we'll show you guys this thing. Guys, we got the burnt up blazer here. Let's show you under the hood just so you can see. It's all charred up. Hood's still, uh, I think we can still save it. She's mint. Mint, but pretty cooked under here. Yeah, uh, not really I would, uh, I would say. Brakes should all still be good. At least the CTSV brakes we put on it. And obviously engine's good. Any electronics, toast. So this one also has some frame damage, which we did have pulled out and it's pretty close. Um, firewalls, all smashed pieces. The, uh, well, the firewall, just because when we crashed, it separated. That's where the fire came through. The windshield is all cracked, um, and obviously all that stuff. So we decided we are going to replace this with something else. So we'll pull everything off of this and put it into other things. Let's go check that out. Would you look at that? We got a brand new shell. It's got a rat rod paint job going on. I think it looks freaking cool. Come around this side. Come around this side. A little rusty wagon she's like a little paddle van i think it looks sweet so this is going to be the replacement for the burnt blazer um it's all pretty much stock it does actually run but we're going to pull that drivetrain out and swap everything in the other blazer into this we'll probably have to lift the front end up a little bit because this thing is she low she think. she pretty low it is ridiculous. And we're going to add a couple hundred pounds to that front end, so I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. So, but we should be able to put the springs from that one on there, and we should be good to go. Um, we're going to do something a little special in the engine bay, and uh, probably the rear axle and everything. But, I don't know, should we keep a little rusty wagon on there? Should we change it out and put the aired out racing here, or maybe get somebody to do the same thing over here for aired out racing? I don't know. But, either way, I'm pretty excited about this thing. It's going to look a whole lot cooler than the Black Blazer did. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it too. Hey, uh, what's, what's, what's going on back there? What is, what is that? Don't, what is, what is that? Don't look at that. Uh, okay, okay. We'll, 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 we'll save that. We'll save that. We'll save that. All right, we'll show you guys under the hood real quick. Just a stock 4.3. It's got a stick in it. Uh, if this. anybody's interested, they can. Uh... Mint 1990s V6. 1990. 1991. 91, ooh, yeah. you're newer. And this one, we got a title with it, so uh, maybe we can do some other stuff with it besides just burnouts. And uh, but I guess we gotta see if this one does a burnout, right? Definitely. So I guess we'll pull it out there and see if we do a burnout. This thing is uh, slightly janky, and you can tell right there, he's struggling to turn it because the steering column's not connected to the firewall at all is wild to me apparently this guy was driving this thing a little crazy but you know whatever and it may or may not break when it does this Let's, uh, the water it just rained so that's gonna help a lot
not gonna lie, I did think he broke it at first. <laughs> Why? Because it just did. I'm not haven't seen a, a one wheel peel. A one wheel peel in a while. I was like, oh, I, you just broke something. Oh, she's burning out of proof. Oh, still got the. Yeah, let's let's show them this because this is nice. I like I like this feature. Um, so as you can see, no key. That's fine. We don't need keys. You just flip over here to your lights, and apparently that's like a safety switch or a fuel pump or something. And then no key. Like a dream. That's a that's a pretty good safety feature. I mean, who's gonna figure that out? I mean, that's pretty good. Who's gonna who's gonna figure it out? Man, we gotta fix this bench. This thing is ridiculous. As soon as I got press burn up, popping away. Well, it looks like uh, windows falling down. What? Are the springs flipped back there? I, have no I don't idea. think so. I don't think know. It just pulled out a leaf. Yeah, it's got blocks and a leaf. Probably shot suspension too. But sorry, right, we got a sweet. we got a whole blazer to uh, get parts off of. Yeah, we'll just use this shell and swap everything on. Alrighty, guys. So just a quick video on the new, improved 2.0 burnout blazer. Got this shell. I think it's pretty sweet. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. Should we keep that name? I really want to know. A little red, a little rusty wagon. I kind of like it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm excited to get started on this build. We'll transform this into the next burnout car and hopefully see you guys in April at the next burnout competition. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.